be working on a uh, project at the same time, you can have multiple projects, and all of the management capabilities, all of the management tasks that you would normally have to do outside of Loadrunner, such as keeping a record of your tests, your results, um, your requirements, even, all of those things are managed by Performance Center. And there's a certain amount of built-in reporting as well. So if you're working at an enterprise level doing performance testing, Performance Center may be the right solution for you. So going back to the, the product suite, this is the area we're going to be looking at. And, and the capabilities you see here, things like user and privilege management, infrastructure management, a central repository, these are all the things that you would expect to have from a center of excellence tool. So what's new in Performance Center 11? Um, quite a lot, actually. Um, Performance Center has been re-architected and are now part of the ALM suite. And I'll explain what ALM means as we, as we go through the next few slides. Um, part of that merging with uh, ALM is that we now have requirements and defects as a core part of Performance Center. And then there's some other new features, uh, specifically in Performance Center, that I'll talk about towards the end. So HP ALM, what is it, uh, and why, and why is it? Um, essentially, Performance Center as an application was developed um, in its own stream. Um, if you're familiar with the Mercury toolset, the HP Quality Management toolset, you may also know about Quality Center. So Quality Center is the tool where you manage your requirements, um, your functional requirements and business requirements. It's where you manage your functional testing and your defects. And you've got traceability between those three entities. Performance Center, as I said, was developed as a, a separate application. And there was no integration between those two products. And that's something that's been um, a need, if you like, for, for the last couple of years. Um, so the idea is we want to be able to have all of our requirements, defects, um, and all of our tests, whether they're related to functional testing or performance testing, we want to view those all in the same place. So we've got a single view of our application. And this is where the, the idea of application lifecycle comes in. Um, so essentially, the, the Quality Center platform um, has now been renamed. The core technology from that is now called the ALM platform, Application Lifecycle Management. And Performance Center has been ported and merged with Quality Center onto this platform. And there's different levels of uh, the product that you can, you can buy. In Quality Center 10, we had the Enterprise Edition and the Premier Edition. So now in version 11, you have Quality Center Enterprise, and the Premier Edition is called ALM 11. So if you hear the term ALM 11, that's talking about the product, the Premier version of Quality Center. But if you hear the term the ALM platform, that's the underlying technology that now supports both Quality Center and Performance Center. And the reason they renamed it to ALM is because it's now um, focused on more than just quality. We have integrations for development teams, integrations for business analysts. So the tool set is now being used by a wider audience, hence the, the name of it to application lifecycle management. So what does this mean for Performance Center? Um, well, it means that it gets a lot of the technology that have been in Quality Center for the last couple of versions uh, as now standard technology in Performance Center. So things like version control, having version control of all your scenarios and all of your scripts, that's now just a core technology that's built into <coughs> the underlying platform on which Performance Center runs. All those other features of, of Quality Center that you see there in the, the, the gray area, the ALM platform area, such as the, the workflow that you have in Quality Center, that's now a core part of Performance Center as well. So you have all of the, the, the performance testing capabilities that you had previously, plus requirements and defects is an, a, another inherited capability, and, and all of these underlying technologies. Just to give you a brief overview of the licensing differences between LoadRunner and Performance Center. LoadRunner um, is licensed on a controller basis, and there's no sharing of licenses between those controllers. So in this instance, this is an example of a customer who might have um, five load runner controllers, each with different levels of licensing on each of those controllers. And you can see here, although the customer actually owns 2,500 web users, the largest test they can do is with 1,500, which is uh, the, the amount they have on that second controller there. 
Um, also in Logan, when you're configuring the test, when you're designing your scenario, when you're setting up monitors, you're using the controller software. You're consuming that controller license. So oftentimes, um, if a project needs to do some performance testing in a particular week, they will book out a controller for the whole of that week. They will take physical ownership of that controller, and, and it will be theirs exclusively. Um, they might only be doing 10 or 15 hours testing that week, but they're using that controller for 40 working hours, say. So there's some downtime, if you like, in, in testing capability of that, that license. Performance Center has everything centralized. So our licenses are centralized, and all of our controllers are centralized as well. And the controllers are only used when you execute the performance test. So when you're doing the setup of the scenario and the monitors, you're just doing that within the Performance Center application. <clears throat> so oftentimes, people find they can reduce the number of controllers that they need because they're getting better use out of those controller licenses. You also have all of your user licenses centralized as well, the V users. So whenever a, a run is executed, it will just draw down on that central pool of licenses. So I can reduce my overall license count that I might have previously distributed across these larger number of controllers and reduce that when I centralize to, to Performance Center. So that's uh, the difference in the license model of the two. And as I mentioned before, Performance Center is a global license, so you can use it from anywhere, whereas Load Runner is a site license. So um, the test engineer, the Load Runner controller, and the application under test should all be at the same location. So the license doesn't support offshoring. So Performance Center, just to give you an idea of what the tool looks like, this is uh, one of the dashboards from the Performance Center server. You can see here in the, the top left-hand pane, um, we have a test set. And then in the top right-hand pane, we have the tests that have been executed for that particular test set. You can see there's one highlighted there, and that's finished, and it's finished with a success um, result. You can see there with the green tick. So that uh, shows me uh, the status, and that would flow up to my requirements if I've got a performance requirement linked to this particular test. In the bottom pane, bottom right, we have the results for that test that's, that's selected, and I can view those online or download them if I want to open them in analysis. And these dashboards are configurable. You can, you can make it show what you want. You can see, uh, if you look back at the top right pane there, um, at the very top of the list of test history, when I actually took this screenshot, um, there was a test in the initializing state. So I could have logged in as a, a different user and seen that someone had initialized the test, or maybe even see that there's a test running. And if so, I could then go and view that test. So when you initialize a test, Performance Center goes away and provisions the resources in the background, so your controllers, your load generators. It would look at the test that you've selected and find what resources are required and then um, provision those in the background. And you can, you can schedule those resources so that you've got the exclusive use of them for a particular time period. This is the screen that you will then get presented with. It's a run screen. Be very familiar to you if you're a Load Runner user. Um, it shows you the same type of information you get from the Load Runner screen, but this is just implemented as a web page. The beauty of this is that because it's a, a web-based collaboration tool, somebody else could log in from a different location. There might be offshore testers running a test, and I want to see what what's going on, You know how the application is performing. So I could log in myself and view a different set of graphs, look at the specific things that I'm interested in. Or I might be uh, the, the application um, system administrator, and I want to look at you know, my web server resources, it's the graph that's highlighted here, rather than the business user who might want to um, <coughs> look at the response times. So Performance Center gives you that collaboration capability. There's two ways you can deploy it as a, a standalone implementation. Um, so you get the ALM platform capabilities, but just for performance testing, so performance requirements and defects and performance test management. Or you can deploy the merged platform, merged with uh, Quality Center um, on the full ALM 11 product. And there you get all of the uh, testing capabilities and all of the requirement types for the different um, entities, so business, requirements, functional requirements, functional tests, um, service tests, all those kind of things, as well as the enhanced reporting project planning capabilities of the ALM platform. So the benefits of 
um, merging the two together is that you have everything in one place, your requirements, your defects, a single dashboard to show you the status um, of the quality of an application. You also get uh, a number of extra center of excellence features when you use the ALM platform, such as asset sharing, being able to share requirements and test um, assets between different projects. Project planning and tracking, um, libraries and baselines, those are all capabilities of the ALM platform that you would get if you merge the QC and ALM pla and PC platforms together. I'm not going to go through this uh, screen and the next screen. These are, I've put these in here so that uh, when you download the presentations afterwards, you can refer to these um, as a reference point. So this talks about all the features within the ALM platform um, and what you get in QC11, what you get in the Premier version, ALM11, what you get in Performance Center Standalone 11. And obviously, if you merge the two together, you have QC and PC together, it will be the ALM platform. So there's two slides there with all of those um, capability details in there um, that you can look at at your leisure. So requirements and defects, I've uh, talked somewhat about this, so let me skip to the, the chase. Um, there's another screenshot from the tool which shows you some of the performance requirements, and this uh, will look familiar to you if you're um, a quality center user. So you now have the ability to define these performance requirements, such as system should su sustain 2,000 concurrent users. And then you have the status of those requirements, as we saw from that previous dashboard, whether it passed or whether it failed. And then you've got the, the requirements coverage that bubbles up to the high level so you can see at the application level how much of your uh, application is covered, how many of your requirements have been covered, and how many tests have you run, what's the pass and fail rate. The Performance Center now has those capabilities built in. And you also get defects. I don't have a screenshot of defects. It's the same concept as, as Quality Center. You get the ability to raise those defects and have the link between the defect and the test and the requirements so you can see um, the status of your requirements is related to the defects. So finally, two uh, new features in Performance Center 11. The first one is topology, monitoring topologies. This is a new way to deploy monitors in Performance Center. Um, as you can see, it's very visual. Uh, you can still use the older uh, controller-based monitors that you have in Load Runner and in Performance Center. This is just a new way to do it. And this uses HP SiteScope as a monitoring engine in the background. And you get SiteScope licenses um, free of charge with Load Runner and Performance Center. Uh, and, that, and they're designed to be used exclusively for monitoring the application under test. So this new uh, monitoring tool allows you to drag and drop these different components onto the workspace. So it might be IIS or JBoss or Oracle, whatever you want to monitor. And then you, you would predefine your application hosts, so your web server, your database server, etc. And you might get your system administrator of the test environment to log into Performance Center and do that. And then here you just make a link between your entity, so JBoss, and the JBoss server. And then once you've done that, you can right click and say deploy monitors, or you could in fact select all of those. And then on the, on the menu bar at the top, you'll see there's a deploy monitor templates button far right. So if you click that, it will deploy a best practice set of monitors across the whole of that infrastructure. And those are non-intrusive monitors, um, just using standard monitoring interfaces such as um, Microsoft Performance Monitor or RSTAT Daemon within uh, Unix, for instance. So it's just using standard monitoring interfaces. Um, it's very quick to do. You don't have to go in and edit to those monitors if you don't want to, but you can then go in and customize them. And the best practice set of monitors for things like IAS would include some IAS counters, some ASP, uh, ASP.NET counters, as well as hardware counters such as uh, CPU, memory, disk usage, etc. So it's a very comprehensive set of, of basic monitors um, for those environments. So it's very quick to deploy, very easy to use, and you get a visual representation of, of the environment as well, which helps the tester to know, um, to diagnose problems when, when you're running a test. So that's monitoring topology. Uh, and finally, some changes to the scheduling within Performance Center. Um, whenever we used to go and talk to customers in previous versions, um, they would all say, we'd like the scheduler to be a bit more like something we're used to, like Outlook. So um, you'd be mistaken there for thinking that that is Outlook. It is, in fact, Performance Center scheduler in the new version. It does look exactly the same as, as Outlook. So when you click on a, a performance test, you see 